Hi everyone, my name is Jenna. Welcome to Tinker Tots. When we do Tinker Tots at the library, we focus on science projects and all different sorts of things that help us learn in different ways. Today we're going to be talking all about colors and we're going to be making at-home chalk. So before we get started, we're going to sing our songs and then we're going to make the chalk at the end of our program. Let's go ahead and sing hello together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's great to see you here. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's great to see you here. Friends, it's so great to see you today. My name is Jenna and I'm a librarian with Siouxland Libraries and we're gonna get started on our color songs. First, we're gonna start with our crayon song. And I've got all of our colors up here ready to go for this song. And it goes to if you're happy and you know it. So, if you have a crayon red, put it on your head. If you have a crayon red, Put it on your head. If you have a crayon red, if you have a crayon red, if you have a crayon red, put it on your head. The next color is blue. If you have a crayon blue, put it on your shoe. I can't reach my shoe, but can you? If you have a crayon shoe, blue, put it on your shoe. If you have a crayon blue, if you have a crayon blue, if you have a crayon blue, put it on your shoe. Now we're going to go find yellow. Can you find yellow? Here it is. If you have a crayon yellow, make it wiggle like jello. If you have a crayon yellow, wiggle like jello. If you have a crayon yellow, if you have a crayon yellow, if you have a crayon yellow, wiggle like jello. Now we're going to find black. If you have a crayon black, hide it behind your back. If you have a crayon black, hide it behind your back. If you have a crayon black, if you have a crayon black, if you have a crayon black, hide it behind your back. Now we're going to find brown. If you have a crayon brown, fly up and down. If you have a crayon brown, fly up and down. If you have a crayon brown, if you have a crayon brown, if you have a crayon brown, fly up and down. If you, can you find the white color? Here it is. If you have a crayon white, Shake it left and right. If you have a crayon white, shake left and right. If you have a crayon white, if you have a crayon white, if you have a crayon white, shake left and right. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for singing our first color song with me. Our next rhyme about colors is about the clothes you're wearing. Now you can just sing along with me and do the actions even if you're not wearing that color. And we're gonna find our colors up on the board together. So, if you have any clothes that are red, put your finger on your head. Here's the red. Now let's find blue. Here it is. If you have any clothes that are blue, put your finger on your shoe. And my finger is on my shoe, so put your finger on your shoe. If you have any clothes that are green, wave your hand so that you're seen. If you have any clothes that are yellow, smile like a happy fellow. If you have any clothes that are brown, turn your smile. If you have any clothes that are black, put your hand behind your back. If you have any clothes that are white, stamp your feet with all your might. Great job. 
Okay, the next one is also about different colors of clothes that you might wear. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one ready. This one is called, um, if you have on any yellow, say hello. So let's get started. If you have on any yellow, say hello. If you have on any blue, touch your shoe. I'm touching my shoe. If you have on any green, make a face that's really mean. If you have on any red, touch your head. If you have on any brown, turn around. If you have on any black, put your hands behind your back. If you have on any purple, pop up in the air. If you have on any pink, make your eyes go wink, wink. If you have on any blue jeans, rub your knees. And if you have on any orange, say goodbye. Boys and girls, nice job. Now when you're out and about today, find your favorite adult and point out your favorite colors. Talk about colors of the different things that you're seeing and the different things that you might wear. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our homemade chalk. Parents, this is a great activity to do together with your child. We just need a few things to get started. The main ingredient is cornstarch and food coloring and water. So cornstarch, food coloring, and water. This recipe, is, I found it on Pinterest and it's from the website Busy Loving Life. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna start with one cup of cornstarch. So this is a new container I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and I'm gonna measure out one cup. And parents, you can let your child, um, you can measure it out and let them dump the ingredients, which is always a fun thing to do when you're baking anything, or in this case, making something that's not edible. Um, so I'm gonna pack it down a little bit to make sure we get enough in there. And it's, a little messy. <laughs> so we've got our one cup of cornstarch. Ooh, it went all over the place. So now you know it'll do that too. Then we need one and one third of a cup of water. I have some water poured out here ready to go. So I'm just gonna pour it into the cup and put our first cup of water in. And then I only need a third of a cup after this. My third of a cup is a little way over there, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and do what I think is about a third of a cup. I don't wanna get too much. Or I'm gonna end up with really watery chalk. So I would suggest measuring out that one and one third of a cup. And it makes kind of a, like a watery mixture. Um, and it's gonna take, I think, quite a bit of mixing. I started with a whisk. I don't think that's gonna do it. I think I need a spoon to get it really mixed up nice. And it's almost um, a little like, it starts out a little hard to mix, kind of like a cement mixture. Um, but once it's all mixed up and I feel like it's ready to go, you're gonna really wanna get it um, dissolved in there. So it's gonna take a little bit of mixing. And I would suggest getting a really nice big bowl so your little ones can help you do the mixing on this. Um, mine starts out a little watery, so I'm gonna add in just a little extra cornstarch. And usually these homemade recipes go that way where you've just gotta mix and add a little bit as you think too. So that's kind of what I found is you have to go that route. So once I've got it all mixed up, it's just a, uh, chalky white mixture, which makes sense since we're making chalk. We're gonna make just a couple of um, colors today. And what I saw online that worked really well is uh, they uh, would, caregivers would pour it into a muffin tin. So you'd pour it in equal parts in a muffin tin and have that outside with paintbrushes. Because we're doing I'm making this inside and I want you to see what it is. I have glass mason jars, um, but for kids, I would suggest something non-breakable. You can use plastic disposable cups or something that you have within your house. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of the mixture into each mason jar container so you can see it here. 
and this would make quite a bit of chalk. The good thing is, so if you put it in a muffin tin, you're gonna have your kiddos sharing. If you put it into plastic cups, um, they can take those plastic cups around with them to your driveway or sidewalk, and they can um, have their own cup of chalk paint, basically. So the first color I'm gonna make is blue, and I'm gonna add in a generous amount of food coloring because I want it to be a really nice, vibrant color. So let's get this mixed up. You can see it is really a nice, pretty and vibrant color. And it's pretty watery too. So I'm gonna say that's gonna rinse off really well from outside. The next color I'm gonna make is a red. And remember, I've got the pri some primary colors right here, but if you wanna do any color mixing and make extra colors, that's just another way you can talk to your child about how, how primary colors can make another color. Here is my red is coming out really nice. And then the last one I'm going to make is green. So today I just have three colors, but at home, I think make all the colors you want, um, as long as you have enough cups and those sorts of things to go. So we're gonna mix up our last color here. And they really do turn out nice and vibrant. Let me show them to you. We've got blue, green, and red. And then for each one, I would pop in a paintbrush. And then that paintbrush gets to stay with that jar and you're ready to go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this outside later and I'm gonna take some pictures so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna draw some designs outside the library and um, see how this works. But I'm gonna start by just painting a little bit on paper so you can see how it comes out. You can see it's a little watery. Um, but I actually think that's great because it's gonna rinse off pretty nice. It's got just enough texture that it's gonna, um, gonna stick a little bit. And that's the other thing, this is an outdoor activity, but you can always make this an indoor activity. If you wanna do some indoor painting with this recipe, I think it'd work really well. Uh, one of the things that I like to do to uh, kind of help the indoor mess is you could put newspaper over your full table. You could use butcher block paper or just tape a bunch of small pieces that your child can paint across. Um, you can also kind of lay down an old blanket around the area if you're afraid about paint getting on the floor, those sorts of things. There's always ways to um, have fun and uh, keep the house clean while you do it too. So. This is what it looks like on paper. I'm gonna take some pictures outside so you can see what the chalk paint looks like. Thank you boys and girls so much for joining me. And I hope you get to do some fun painting soon. And I hope that you enjoyed all of the fun color songs that we sang today. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song together. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends, it's great to see you here. Goodbye, friends, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's great to see you here. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.